10 Amazing Facts About Planet Earth It is so easy to get caught up in life that we forget to stop and look around us. It is truly a unique and amazing planet we live on. From towering mountains that seem to scrape across the sky, to enormous canyons that were carved out by water over the course of millions of years. There is so much to appreciate. But with a world that is full of history, intrigue, and even drama, where does one start when trying to describe how amazing it is? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Welcome to Factsight. Today, we will be counting down 10 of the most amazing facts about planet Earth. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button while you're here. Also, click that notification bell. We are constantly coming out with new content and want you to stay informed as soon as a new video is released. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Number 10. The Earth is not flat, but it's not perfectly round either. We can all say it together, the Earth is not flat, it isn't even close to flat. However, the Earth isn't a perfect sphere either, it never has been. Around the equator, the planet actually bulges by an extra 0.3%. This is a result of the Earth rotating on its axis. Because of this spinning motion, rotational force affects the Earth's equatorial regions. To give you an idea for scale, the Earth's diameter from the North to the South Pole is 7,900 miles, while along the equator it is 7,926. That is one three hundredth the diameter of the Earth. Although this is too small of a difference to be seen in photos or even be noticed by astronauts who can physically see the Earth. The difference is sizable. Some researchers from NASA believe that the melting glaciers on the Earth are adding to the expanding waistline. Number 9. The Mariana Trench is the deepest spot on the planet Everyone knows that the Earth's oceans are incredibly deep. Some places can be thousands of feet deep, a truly breathtaking depth. But that pales in comparison to the deepest part on our planet, the Mariana Trench. At one point along this trench is an area called Challenger Deep, and it lies approximately 36,200 feet. If you would like an idea how deep it is, think about it like this. You could place the entirety of Mount Everest inside the trench, and there would still be over a mile of water above it. That's insanely deep. Additionally, it is one of the most formidable places on Earth. The average temperature of the water is between 34 and 39 degrees Fahrenheit, that is unless you're near one of the many geothermal vents. Then it can be 700 degrees. Also, as the majority of this trench is still unexplored, it is believed that many species of fish live here that are unknown to biologists. It remains one of the last frontiers for humans to go. As a matter of fact, more people have set foot on the moon than have traveled to the depths of the Mariana Trench. Number 8. Our days are actually getting longer. We're sure you have all said this sentence at least once in your lives. It seems like the days just keep getting longer and longer. Even though this is spoke mostly out of frustration or exhaustion, the statement isn't wrong. In fact, on a scientific level, it is 100% accurate. The length of Earth's day is increasing. 4.6 billion years ago, one day on Earth would have roughly been 6 hours long. 620 million years ago, this time had increased to 21.9 hours. That brings us to now when our days are 24 hours long. So what gives? Why are the days getting longer? Well, it's because of the moon and its effect on our tides. Earth's spin causes the position of the ocean's tidal bulges to be pulled slightly ahead of the moon-Earth axis. In turn, that creates a slight twisting force that slows down the Earth's rotation. As a result, the days get longer. But don't worry, they only get longer 1.7 milliseconds per century. Number 7. There weren't always multiple continents. Earth's geographic features are not hard to miss. Our continents are well-defined and easily identifiable. But it wasn't always like this. Nearly 800 million years ago, the great tectonic plates that our continents ride upon came together. They formed into a huge supercontinent called Rodinia. The current continent of North America was at the center. Around 300 million years later, the supercontinent broke apart into many smaller pieces that eventually collided again, creating another supercontinent called Pangaea that was surrounded by an enormous single ocean. Then, 50 million years later, Pangaea broke up and split into other large landmasses. 
Eventually, the land settled into the continents that we know today. The big question is, will this happen again? Yes, the continents are moving very small distances every year. It's only a matter of time until there is another collision of land. Number 6. Earth Saw Multiple Ice Ages Everyone knows of the Earth's Ice Age. However, what they may not realize is that it wasn't just one Ice Age. Around 600 to 800 million years ago, the Earth underwent several extreme Ice Age events. During these times, scientists believe that the Earth either nearly or completely froze multiple times. Known as the Snowball Earth Theory, it is thought that there were about four periods of extreme climate change, alternating between freezing and thawing. These changes were triggered by reductions in greenhouse gases such as carbon monoxide and methane. In the coldest parts of these times, the Earth would have been covered by glacial ice from pole to pole. The thing about the ice is that it was so thick and covered so much of the Earth, most of the Sun's energy would have been reflected away, resulting in average temperatures of negative 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 5. The driest place on Earth is in… Chile? Dry and arid, words that describe one of the most iconic geographic features on Earth, deserts. Obviously, the images that people automatically think about are the dunes of the Sahara or the cacti of the Sonoran. Here, rainfall is extremely scarce, but surprisingly, they are not the driest places on the planet. That title goes to the Atacama Desert in northern Chile. It seems so strange because the Atacama Desert is right next to the biggest body of water in the world, the Pacific Ocean. However, the area only gets 0.03 inches of water per year. As far as deserts go, it is also a very cold area. Scientists study this desert, often looking for microorganisms which can survive in such an extreme environment. Number 4. The vast majority of the oceans are still unexplored. The oceans are one of the Earth's most important features, affecting everything from global temperatures to local climates. They cover 70% of this planet's surface. Our oceans stretch for miles in every direction and are incredibly deep. However, for as much as we know about them, we haven't even come close to unlocking their many secrets. In actuality, we have only explored a fraction of our oceans. More than 80% remain unmapped, unobserved, and unexplored. The reason for this doesn't have to do with anything other than the fact that there is so much out there. With so much left to explore, many scientists believe there are a number of undiscovered creatures and organisms that exist in the deep. Even more, these areas could yield discoveries of shipwrecks or even deposits of oil. Number 3. The Earth's Molten Iron Core Creates the Magnetic Field One of the biggest threats to our Earth is actually the one thing that gives us light and life. The Sun throws out a constant barrage of deadly radiation. However, our planet remains protected by way of an electromagnetic field that surrounds our Earth. Deep under our feet, the Earth is layered in two different sections. We live on the crust. Just under the crust lies the mantle where all of the molten rock keeps our tectonic plates afloat. But thousands of miles below that is the ferocious outer core, an area where a vortex of molten iron is constantly spinning at thousands of miles per hour. This spinning generates the electromagnetic field that protects the Earth from cosmic radiation. Evidence of this can be seen at the North and South Poles. Commonly known as the Northern or Southern Lights, these amazing displays of light occur when radiation is stopped by the electromagnetic field. Number 2. One year on Earth isn't exactly 365 days. Does anyone else find the month of February annoying every four years? These years are known as leap years, when February has one day added to its calendar. But why is this necessary? Did someone simply feel sorry for how few days February has in it? There's actually a scientific answer. We are typically taught that it takes 365 days to orbit around the Sun. In reality, the Earth's orbit takes 365 days and 6 hours. This may seem like we are playing a game of semantics but this extra quarter day would add up if it weren't for that extra day in February. Were it not for leap year, the Earth's orbital position would change drastically within the course of time. Seasons would change every few centuries, as far as how we measure them with our months. 
So love them or hate them, leap years are big deals, and it's all thanks to the 365 and quarter days per year. Before we get to our number one pick, don't forget to give this video a like. We want to know what we are doing right for you, our viewers. Number one. No matter how little you move, you are always moving at an incredible rate of speed. Are you sitting still while you're watching this video? The answer is no. While you may not be moving yourself, you are definitely in motion. Few take the time to realize this. But due to the Earth's rotation as well as its orbit around the Sun, we are all traveling at incredible speeds. Let's do the math. First, the Earth is rotating on its axis, giving us days. That spinning motion is roughly 1,000 miles per hour. Next, the Earth is constantly orbiting the Sun. This speed is about 67,000 miles per hour. We don't feel it due to our planet's gravity constantly holding us in place. But if you were to do the math, factoring in the Earth's rotational speed and its orbit at any given time, we are all moving about 43,000 miles per hour. So, strap in for the wild ride. Do you agree with our list? What are some of the most amazing facts you know about Earth? Comment below and maybe it will be a new topic for a video. Don't forget to check out some of our previous content for more amazing facts. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.